Hello, welcome to another instructional video from EGIS Associates. Recently, we've been getting a lot of requests about how do we set up a scale bar in a layout so that one inch equals so many feet. This is a, a pretty common practice here in the United States where we work a lot with engineering professionals and all that, and they're just accustomed to being able to lay a ruler down on any map or plan and determine measurements uh, from that. So in this video, we'll look at how do we do that in ArcGIS Pro? How do we add a scale bar to a layout so that one inch equals so many feet? And it's actually a fairly simple process once you see how to, to do it. There are a couple of recommendations for settings uh, that will make this a lot easier for you. So first, this typically works best if the map you're creating a scale on uses a projected coordinate system. It doesn't have to be in feet, it can be in meters or some other units, uh, though feet is preferred. That way ARC doesn't have to work with any conversion on that. Also seems to work best if the map you're referencing with the scale bar is also set to use feet if that's not its native uh, units. Also you need to keep in mind that there is a difference between the US survey foot and the international foot. Uh, this if you pick the wrong one, this can cause scaling issues. So you want to make sure you know which one you're, you're working with. Uh, the difference tends to be out at the sixth uh, decimal place or, or more. So for small areas, the, it, it probably won't have a big impact, but for larger areas, it can cause uh, some problems. So with that in mind, let's do a demonstration. Let's see how do we actually configure and set this up. Okay, so I've gone into ArcGIS Pro. I already have a project open and I have a layout that's been created. Uh, I'm going to assume for the sake of this demonstration that you already know how to create a project, add a map, and create a layout. Uh, if you don't, then you may want to look at some of our other previous uh, videos for that. However, I've got it in here and the first thing I want to, to do is verify that my map uh, is using uh, real world units and it's in a projected coordinate system. So I'm going to go over here into the contents pane under map frame, right click on the map that I'm referencing and go to properties. And from here I can see that yes, it's map units as US survey feet, the display units is set to feet. And if I go down here to coordinate system, I can see that it's in the North American datum 1983 state plane Georgia West feet coordinate system. This is a projected coordinate system. So this should work fine. Um, now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and close that out. Next thing is I want to go ahead and set the scale for my map frame. So just select it here so it's highlighted. And then go down here at the bottom of the view window area and type in the scale I want it to be. And the nice thing with Arc Pro, I can actually type in one inch equals the number of feet I want it to be. So let's say 400 feet. And by the way, abbreviations work. Um, the double quotes for inches, a single quote for feet also works. And you can also mix and match. So I've typed in that one inch equals 400 feet and it's gone ahead and set it to the correct cartographic scale. So now I know my map is at one inch equals 400 feet. At this point, I want to go back up into my ribbon and click on the Insert tab and go to Scale Bar, click on it, and choose the type of scale uh, bar that you like to use. I prefer the double alternating two. That's just the one I like to use. You can see it inserted it in. I'm going to bring it down here towards the bottom of the layout so you can see it better. Also with this selected, notice that we've got two tabs that are uh, up here in the ribbon. We have the format and the design. Well, you can see here that it's set to miles. We want it to be in feet, so we want to change the design of our scale bar, and we're going to click the design and make some adjustments here. So the first thing we want to do is the resize behavior. We don't want the division value to change because we're trying to make it one inch equals 400 feet. So we don't need the division, these divisions here, to change. What we want is the number of divisions to change. So we're going to adjust this to adjust the number of divisions. Okay. Then we're going to go over here and change our units to US feet. 
because that's what we're working in. And now I'm going to change my division value to 400. And that's going to be in feet because that's what I've set my units to. And now you can see it's changed my scale bar so that the distance from the zero to the 400 when I print it out on a sheet of paper should be exactly one inch. So that would be one inch equals 400 feet. It's really as simple as that. Now from there you can go ahead and make other adjustments if you want to change where it says US feet out to the side that would be the, the label. So I could go ahead and say so everybody knows what the scale is. One inch equals 400 feet. That So now everybody knows what the scale is. If I want to put it uh, below the bar, there we go. Right, so we can make those basic uh, adjustments. Now, one thing you do want to uh, be aware of, or one thing you may want to do, I should say, is you may want to change the focus or the center position of your map. If you want to do that, you want to activate the, the frame. So again, I'm going to select the map frame, go up here under the layout tab and click activate. So this allows me to move the map around to the location I want to focus on. So let's go ahead and set it to that. And at which point I go back up here to the layout tab and close my activation. Now one of the things I typically like to do uh, to ensure that I can get back to this scale that I've set and this location is to create a bookmark. So I'll go up here to bookmarks, new bookmark, call it one inch equals 400 feet. Hmm. And go OK. So that means if somebody were to come in here and, and change it, so they come in here and they activate this, um, and they start doing this, and they zoom out and pan around, and they really mess things up, right? I can come back here to my layout, go back to my bookmark, and boom, I'm right back there at the right scale. The other thing you can do once you've got this all set up the way you want to is to right click on the map. Uh, I'm sorry, right click on the map frame, go to properties, click over here on the display options and set your constraint to fix center and scale. Once you do that, now even if somebody were to activate that frame, they can't pan or zoom that's locked in that scale. So that keeps them from accidentally messing up your, your layout. There we go. It, it's pretty straightforward and easy. And by the way, the same basic process works in ArcMap as well. Um, it's The workflow is a little different because the tools are a little different, but the, the basic concept is exactly the, the same. If you'd like to see how to do that in ArcMap, please leave a comment uh, or a comment to the video below. And I hope that you'll have found this uh, helpful. So anyway, I hope that was very helpful. Um, do keep us in mind if you need any help. We're, we're here. Uh, EGIS Associates is a consulting company. We provide a, a range of GIS related services from enterprise implementation systems integration, application development, strategic planning, needs assessment, health checks, whatever you want to call it, uh, rent -a tech services if you need some additional staffing help or need help uh, maybe some, with some hiring of uh, staff. We also provide training and support services as well. So please, if you need any assistance, feel free to reach out to us. Our website is www.egisassociates.com. Give us a call at 678-710-9710 or email us at info at egisassociates.com. We'd be happy to, to help you out if you have any questions or anything. If this video was helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up below. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, want to learn more, keep up to date as we post new content, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if there's any other content you'd like to see, questions you have, please feel free to leave a comment uh, below. 
for this video, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.